it's time for another isekai anime and you might think this is not isekai but this is because it's like the ultimate game like dating sim where there's like villainesses and i hear this is a type of game sorry a show where the girl getting reincarnated as the villainess she like leans into it in level 99 villainess Umelia was always trying to like go away leave me alone i'm trying to chill and do my own thing this girl i think is like a d1 hater <laughs> that's just gonna play into it let's begin today's reaction Kindness and compassion are the most important things. No, the only thing that matters in the world is money, baby. Yep, money. Discipline? Nope. Discipline doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is money. What more is there to say to a commoner who fails to uphold that? They gonna be fucking in the coal mine so that I can make my money. Alright, she's the villainess. Verbal abuse. You know, I feel like if I was re I feel like if I was reincarnated as a villainous, I feel like I already am a villainous, you know? Just the way I handle my chat, the whole stream content, just calling people monkeys, like I pretty am a villainous. <laughs> fucking nepotism, bro. I bet that her fucking parents or something is owning this castle, bro. What do you mean? The filthy commoner just got in when it's for nobles only? I can't believe how unfair this is. Fraud. Ugh. Ugh, I hate her already. Ugh, just little, oh, goody little two shoes. Innocent angelic smile, bro. I'm a fucking hater. Yo, I, 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 I bet this girl's fucking all the dudes, bro. I, I bet she's cheating on the OG, bro, with the other guys over here. Yep, 100%. She a hoe, bro. Don't let this innocent smile fool you. Why can't we see her eyes? I think they're, they're setting the stage for this girl to be just a nasty person. You're getting played with Prince. Villainous. Now, how does she get reincarnated? I don't know how it got reincarnated, but we just have these fantasies in our head about how she wants to be a villainous. Boom! She's seven years old now. William's family. <laughs> Conquerable. That's my favorite, like, word in these shows. They also refer in Mob Seca, and I think a villainous 99 too. I think they always say, like, these princes are, like, conquerable characters. You're villainous. I cannot wait to abuse my powers as the eldest daughter of the Williams family and then shit on that poor little commoner who got in your fraudulently. The biggest hater in history. Alright. The villainous and working out. This mom? Rose is a me. We have mom. They're shocked because she's so different. <laughs> she's wasting no fucking time. Seven years old and she's gotta be. Where is that girl? Where is that commoner girl, bro? I gotta shit on her immediately. We have to be a villainous who goes down in history. I gotta start hating right now. Training? You gotta get powerful enough to hate everyone, right? That's right. I seek power. Henry. Benry. Sorry, Alan. Hundred push-ups for a seven-year-old girl, man. Hundred push-ups for a seven-year-old girl. Fifty push like uh sit-ups. That's pretty hard. I wouldn't expect a seven-year-old girl to be able to do 100 push-ups every day. <laughs> like, I don't think a seven-year-old boy could do that shit either. Also, how are they gonna... How are they gonna check? Can't we just lie about this? What, are they gonna watch us do 100 push-ups and 50 sit-ups, bro? Magic. Nobles have mana. Got it. RGB element? 
Oh, okay, dark and light are part of the normie elements. I thought like, you know, RGB elements would be the common ones and dark and light would be rare. Five great nobles. Which one are we? Dark magic, let's go. How sinister. The soundtrack for this anime has been just phenomenal though. She's just basically studying right now about plants. Alright, girl. 100 push ups. Is she? Or is it th like a regular seven year old probably couldn't, but like. She's probably a grown-ass woman who got reincarnated as a seven-year-old girl, so her brain... I don't know, I'm just thinking like, is she childhood? Or is this like an adult in a child's body able to learn better? Here's the push-ups. Oh, my bad, I thought it was 100 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, maybe it was the inverse. Yeah, it's a seven-year-old toddler. <laughs> what the hell? Am I crazy? Wait, there's one sleeping, and the other is doing sit-ups. Am I crazy? <laughs> Imagery? <laughs> She's getting stronger. Bro, whoever's doing the soundtrack of this anime is just going all out right now. Holy shit. It's a whole it's like a whole ass like orchestral composition and it's only been like like seven minutes in, man. Two hundred setups. She ain't reading, bro. She ain't fucking reading. She just flipping pages. Alright, one week later. So she is she just straight up just fucking ripped? She's doing 500 sit-ups, 300 push-ups, and just got like an 8-pack. A 7-year-old baby girl with an 8-pack, bro. Just completely ripped as well. <laughs> Mom's been seeing her train and study. I'm on that grind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because like the seven-year-old Alicia was just like a regular seven-year-old girl that didn't do anything But now a new girl like, you know reincarnation. Well Is it reincarnation? This is weird Because if it's reincarnation you start as a baby But this is more like your soul got transplanted into the body of the seven-year-old Alicia who used to have a soul before can you say you've reincarnated into this girl, or is this more like possession? I don't know how that works. What were you in your previous life? What happened to OG Alicia? Very good question. And some a brutal answer that no one wants to hear is that it's kicked out, it's dead. <laughs> That's it. A seven-year-old innocent girl got sacrificed for our entertainment. I'm sorry, man. Enrolling school? Academy? What was that? I see, like, some sort of town square where the only thing that exists is, like, the fountain in the middle and the houses around. The shacks are just bad. No growth of any greens livery? It just looks bad around here. Okay. <laughs> Conquerable <laughs> house. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's always these two types. So huh? there's always the 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 kid. Uh, what's it called? A token like Shoda, right? There's also like the cool glasses guy. Um, blue guy is probably the main dude. Red guy is usually like the hot-headed one. That's an idiot. And are you saying that your siblings are also conquerable routes? Is there incest on the line here? Master Eric. Finn. 
what is up with blonde showed as an enemy and being named Finn? Now, I know it's only been in Damachin with story recently, but suddenly this show also doing it is like, huh? I never like the studious, you know, elegant glasses wearing guy. I wonder, because like, obviously this show is not for me, but I just always hate glasses on guys or girls. But like, I wonder if girls prefer guys like him. Like, w is this your main husband though? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's green magic. Everyone is so, okay, I'm going to assume it's like plant magic. Everyone else has been light magic, fire magic, you know, fucking wind magic, green magic. I think it's going to be like plant shit. Some Hashirama shit, like plants, vines, trees, I don't know. Curtis. Oh? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're gonna be seeking these nuts. Okay. We're not going for the good ending. We're going for the fucking corrupt bad ending, baby. Yeah? Yeah, where the heroine at? Hello. え、何歳だっけ小さいな。神兵たちが高い。でもな。礼儀師は子供だと思われてはいけないわ。ロバオ。アリシアとも申します。違うな。小さいのにしっかりしてるね。君と。いや、ドメンテンスタレンフェスト
Beats me, man. <laughs> you fucking play dumb right now, bro. I don't know. No, no. I, I, I think that there's deeper meaning here, right? It, this seems fucking stupid. But I think the meaning here is like, this is a video game. And he's not supposed to go for her. But she's already made her move and is like charming him. So he's kind of like going off script. This is not the good route. So he's like, huh, I wonder why too. Or he's just lying. <laughs> he's just lying, bro. The excuse is what I just said. But secretly, he already knows. Mm. Uh -oh. People get mad if we help out. These are all the fathers of the dudes that we saw. Alright, what, what do you want? Yeah. Alright. Have a break. あの、レド、対するとは言っていたよ。ああ、聞いている。ご迷惑にならないように。とても礼儀正しい子だと言っていたが、ゲイルもだ。前はもっと入り浸るように。だ、トライ。7 Oh, what a cute outfit. Who's over? Oh, it's just the comfortable characters. Who is he? That's the villainous fate, being exiled to a foreign country. Well, maybe our ending will be will be getting exiled, but like you know, you know, in the opening, how the how the blue haired dude had us in our arms, and we were wearing like dark, dark, like goth Lolita clothing with like an eye patch. Maybe that's like the good, the bad ending, but like we are getting exiled together or something. We're just like getting out of here, running away. <laughs> oh shit! It's the dad. Because of you? <laughs> the Heika was like, oh, really? This kid is learning fast and strong? Okay. Yeah. This is Dio's voice actor, right? It is Dio's voice actor. Oh, this is gonna be fucking diabolical. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's seriously asking an eight-year-old kid about the political climate of this fucking kingdom? But I guess to him, she's like this like genius that may have like a perspective that he could never know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think it is. Do we play dumb or do we just like metagame this? Because I'm sure she already knows of what's going to happen in the future. And how to prevent those kind of perils and to give him like the brutal honesty of like, yo, the people are fucking mad here and you're being a terrible king. You need to manage this shit better or like a really bad thing's going to happen. In the book as well, in the book, there was like a frame we saw where it was like a fountain in the middle, but like the shacks around it were all damaged, right? I'm sure that all plays into it. Maybe. Ooh, not a good nation. Yeah, we talking shit to the king. That's right, shitty ass nobles. Yeah. What about the commoners? Exactly. You know, like, this is not so different from, like, our current situation in the modern world. Like, wealth gaps, nobles. I mean, we basically are living in, like, a neo-fucking modern feudal society. <laughs> fucking tax these rich ass motherfuckers. Offer more like, you know, resources to uplift the people out of poverty. Just like figure out how to put them to work, create new industries, get the fucking economy going. <laughs> the hell? 
カルベラ国の独立を支援するのですわラバール国国の関係は保ちつつカルベラ国と交易、okay. そう王を有利な立場で貿易ができますよねカルベラに対しお得るかいるなんていい子ちゃんのヒロインは絶対に I mean, it's smart, man. It's, it's smart. That's just good business, right? <laughs> That's crazy. The, the king is now gonna fucking listen to this eight year old kid, but like, this is the, probably the most optimal strategy. Yeah, where's she at right now? What's she doing? Alicia, I feel like she has just like saved this kingdom from its demise. Like you should like reward her with so much right now. It's it's crazy what that kind of advice is gonna have an impact for here. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> kinda creepy, bro. <laughs> just fucking creepy. <laughs> the more I look into those eyes, I'm just like more creeped out by it. <laughs> Don't think it's all here. <laughs> いい子がいいわね。実に興味深かったよ。ですが、皆で話したいことがございます。そう。金のバラが。The <笑> He just stares. Bro just fucking stares. He just he just has a thousand yard just death stare just This is very creepy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh god. Oh again. What is it? <laughs> yeah, say the number. I want you to say the fucking number right now. How old is she? What's what birthday is this? Happy what birthday? Eighth birthday. Motherfucker pre-ordering right now. But that's grooming? Here's the thing. It's actually everyone else being groomed by her. You know? Like she's going in with the whole villainous route. She's getting super training. She's trying to manipulate these conquerable characters and position herself in a favorable position later on and be the strongest villainous ever like everyone else is being groomed by this eight-year-old girl but <laughs> you know <laughs> it's only anime where i can say shit like this it's crazy bro this eight-year-old girl is grooming all these dudes that's crazy bro Diamond necklace, bro. You just, you're gonna give a fucking eight year old kid a birthday gift a diamond necklace? I mean, I'm sure he has good intentions, but it's also funny how, like, kind of awkward he is. Because he just stares, right? He's like the ice cold prince, aka he a bit on the spectrum, right? Come on now. There's, there's a little bit of tism at this play here. He's, he's definitely on the spectrum. He just fucking stares and he's like, all right, I'm gonna leave now. Okay, bye. Awkward risk? That CGI horse carriage animation was actually kind of smooth. At first, I was like, oh, there's a CGI, but. That's pretty smooth! <gasps> the Golden Rose? Okay. Oh, bro, that's probably the fucking main character, man. When his only daughter was born, that, that's probably the main character, bro. Okay. The saint. Oh, they're always the saint. Just like in you, level 9 that villain is too, it's the heroine, bro. Nah, keep that poor piece of shit out of here, bro. <laughs> I can't wait to be a bully in this show. I had so much fun in level 99 villain of just being the fucking villain too. I can't I cannot wait to shit on this girl. Mm. Nah bro, that that no no no. It just happened now? 
There's no way. I, I, ah, uh, no, I can't really say that due to Alicia either because this has been a year now. The prince. Nah, bro, fuck him. Where's the Dark Rose? Where, yeah, we need a Dark Rose, man. Fuck this shit. It's like a prophecy, huh? Why? Suddenly, if... It's supposed to be a good thing. And then bad thing will happen due to the transformation. Okay. The hell? There's that wolf thing again. What is going on? Unites with the member of the ruling family. Blue Rose. No, I think this guy has pretty much been just groomed by Alicia. I can only see Alicia now. I wonder how he'll treat the heroine though. She threw squats, bro. <laughs> Did that just return? <laughs> you think the Duke would take the fucking diamond necklace back and give it to the poor girl? 1,000 squats, man. 1,000 squats. Dark Rose. Dark Rose. And that is today's episode and you know what i'm in i am in i already love the whole premise of being a villainess but on top of that she's like leaning into being a villainess she's literally gonna like do whatever it counts to like hate on the heroine and just fuck her up so that's gonna be so fun like i can already imagine just like the bullshittery just fun stupid fun like we're gonna have watching this because of how she's gonna be the villainess right and just this first episode alone, yeah, there was a lot of, you know, <laughs> questionable age gap memes that we were fucking going with. But beyond that, too, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, like, intrigued in the whole plot of, like, you know, there's, like, the five great families representing each element. All these dudes are thirsting over a fucking eight-year-old girl, but the heroine is somehow just, like, in play now with the golden rose. And there's a blue rose for the, king, the prince. And then we also have a dark rose or something, and... I hope that um, there's gonna be some really funny and cool like power fantasy moments in the future. There has to be with a show set up like this. So like I'm definitely in. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.